And now some talks on China's poverty alleviation plan in the future. We are joined in the studio by Mr. Ding Yifan from the Development Research Center of the State Council. Good evening, Mr. Ding. Good evening. Obviously, China has already lifted millions, hundreds of millions of people hundreds out of, of poverty, millions. but mm -hmm. most of them are in the coastal areas. Mm -hmm. More and more people that are left behind are in the West, less developed areas. Now mm -hmm. we have a new five-year plan to lift mm -hmm. more people out of poverty. What do you make of the highlights of this plan, and will it work? Actually, it's the first time the Chinese government made a five-year plan to not only alleviate poverty, but to eradicate poverty in China. Mm. Because theoretically, at the end of the five-year plan, there won't be any people who is living under the poverty line. So that's something that the United Nations organization set as a target for 2013. Mm. Well, no, for 2030. Yeah, that's the sustainable so that's, development goal. Yes. Okay. So China will do its best to, to try to help United Nations to accomplish this part of objective mm. in China's uh, sphere of influence, but because Chinese government is committed to poverty alleviation and in the previous uh, United Nations plan, uh, at the beginning of the 2000, uh, year 2000, as a minimum target, China is the best student for this uh, poverty alleviation target. And mm. this time, I think the Chinese government will, ahead of the schedule of the United Nations, and we will uh, allow the 70 million uh, people who are still living in the poverty line to be above the poverty line. Mm. You mentioned the figure 70 million, and these 70 million people are, are this left behind because maybe the low hanging fruits have been collected, but these people are living in remote areas, yes. in the west areas. They don't have productive means to develop fast enough. So we come up with a strategy that is mm -hmm. precision, pinpoint precision strategy, improve their yes. livelihood. Mm -hmm. How to pinpoint those people? How to help them exactly? A serious major has been taken into action by Chinese government. First of all, uh, the big data processing technology could be very helpful to, how to say, to relocate of those people from remote area, from very, very isolated area, uh, and then try to help them. Then the second phase of this uh, development project is to help them to find a way to, to make them a little bit uh, wealthier. Mm. So uh, they need some funding for developing some economic activities. So the third phase will be how to build up a platform to finance all these uh, activities to help them to get out of the poverty. Mm. And do you think it will deliver by the end of 2020? That I think we that uh, the Chinese uh, local authorities are mobilized to achieve this target. So in, in five-year plan, I think that we can reach this objective. All right. Thank you very much for your optimism, Mr. Ding. Mm -hmm.